Welcome back to another great Fish Eat Live video. Now we know you love fast action fishing videos like this. Oh, he's coming to get yours? <laughs> I don't mess around, baby. I don't mess around! Woo! <laughs> Show that camera that fish. Yeah, that's good. How about that one, baby? That's what we're talking about. Hold him up there. That'll be our thumbnail. Get a quick smile. Look what's in his mouth. The dancer. But today, we're giving you a fishing video like this. Well, that's one way of fishing. One way of fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at you. I know. Aren't you the cat's meow? Look. Huh? You're sitting in an easy chair. Yeah. You've got a remote control in your hand. Uh-huh. And you're watching your hummingbird big green TV. Yeah. There you go. What more do you want? Maybe just some fish in the boat. Get some fish in the boat. You ready to start? I'm ready to do this. We got uh, some crappie magnets out there. I got the new dancer. The dancer, yeah. Tiny dancer. Hold me. For a crappie. Yeah. Anyway, and I have a pro series with a tiny dancer on it. Out there? Or not a tiny dancer. It's just a dancer. Yeah. And uh, I got some. Slab Curly's over there and some more dancers. We're yeah. gonna try, we're gonna, the river has finally got to the magic number. 25 at this lake. 25. It's a, it's a river lake and uh, it's got down to 25, so the fish is supposed to be on the pond. <clears throat> That's what all my log books say. All right. Five foot, come right here. All right. We're fixing to try it. I'm excited. I think I've seen you do this with Carl Kalanka, the extreme angler, yep. and have it's just a hate day doing this. Well, this is one of my favorite techniques is long line because it's just so easy. I mean, you got the, your poles out. I have my my poles on the set, mounted on the side in this boat. So I've got different lengths. If you notice, this is the eight pound, eight pound, eight foot. Uh, Duck Commander Series, a 10 foot and a 12 foot. We're just gonna fish with three. I would have a, a 14 foot the longest. I would have a 14 foot uh, Duck Commander Series trolling pole right here if we was fishing with four. But anyway, we're gonna do three. It's hot summertime, it's July. We may have to run and gun, I hope not. Yeah. So that's why I just done three, be quicker to pick up. But you do the different, I like a two foot separation, so when you turn, using this, you, I'm gonna throw one mile an hour, I'm gonna start off, and uh, you have to make big turns. You can't stop. Okay. You stop, everybody goes to the bottom. I use six pound line. Now you can use whatever you're comfortable with, but always use the same pound test on everybody. Okay. So you'll know, you'll get familiar with how your jigs run in the water column. All right, one mile an hour. Because sometimes line is more buoyant right. than others. The right, the eight pound is a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than the six pound, so it's gonna run shallower. And it looks like you got the, is that the crappie magnet SOS on there? It is, yes. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna be using sixteenths and thirty seconds. I know that's even, it don't matter how deep the water is, 30 seconds run three foot, 
at one mile an hour, 16th run about five. Okay. And I want to stay, if the shad's up top, you know how that, you see them ripples on top of the water sometimes? Yeah. You know, the shad pods, they, they up high. <clears throat> Even in deep water. Well, guess what's right under? Crappie. The crappie. Yeah. Now guess what's between the bait, the, the shad and the crappie? What's that? These crappie mangoes. Okay, the 16th yeah. and the 32nd. All right. So just remember that. It don't. You ain't got to fish deep in deep water. Okay. You can fish in the shallow, in the water column. So that's what we're going to try. Let's get started. All right, let's do it. All right, you ready to get started? Now look. Yeah, show me a, how it's this done. Is, this is what you want to do. Okay. And I learned this from Carl Colonk. Yeah. You want to throw the inside one first. This is going to be your inside pole. And you throw it straight back, right? You throw it straight back. Okay. You throw this in a little bit off center to that, uh -huh. and then throw this in a little bit more. Okay. And uh, But throw them back, you know. Okay. And you just throw them a good cast. You ain't got a rare back. Okay. And dump them real hard. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to watch you do it first and then follow suit. All right. What do they say? Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Yeah. Now what is that? That is the knee dancer. Nice. The paddle tail style bait from Crappie Magnet. Just come out. Yeah. We're going to debut it at ICAST. All right. And we'll see the action Look on this. this thing. All right. Let me see. Come on. I'm zooming in on it. Oh, hold Can on. you see it? Oh yeah, look, look at, at that. that thing go. That's got some great action. You got the flutter of the tail and the shine of the blade, the flash of the blade. Oh, that's going to do it, isn't it? I believe so. We might be tying these on every one of them here in a minute. All right. Well, I'm going to start fishing. Okay, I'm going to... He ain't got to throw out real far. And that's a 16. Yeah. Look, I could throw a little further down. Yeah. Whoa, I just... There he is. Hello! Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, good one. Oh, that is giant. Oh, my gosh. That's a big Begging. one. Begging. Begging. Look at the mouth on him. That's a 15 inch crappie. Oh, I need to get the net. Where's the net? It's in there. Maybe I can grab him. Let me get down there and grab him. Oh! There we go. Damn. That's what we're looking for. I gotta zoom out on that puppy. Look what's in his mouth. What's in his mouth? Oh, tiny dancer! <laughs> we need some singing lessons, don't we? A tiny dancer. Old, uh, Dancing for crappie. Old Elton John is shaking his head right now. <laughs> I think that was Tina. Oh, teen, yeah, private dancer. Yeah, Look at that. It in the tank. Hold on, let me see the bait. And let me see the tank. Dang. Right. How much is that? Wait, is that two pounds? I don't know. I don't know, but that is a Let's big crappie. Let's weigh him and see. What okay. else we got to do? We got nothing. Lazy man fishing. Let's take our time that and enjoy was ourselves. A, that was the. Uh, what a great way to start the show. The first two minutes, you know, a 15 inch crappie. I'm going to say one five. What do you think? Pound and a half? Yeah. He ain't that full either. No. What we got? What happened? Ooh, 169. Not bad. That's a tank. That'd, that'd feed the whole family right there. How's your freezer doing? Well, I ought to keep some of them. Okay. Why don't we keep some of the little ones and turn that monster back? Yeah. That's a scarable crappie, am I right? A scarable crappie. That would go in your box of seven. Yes, it would. Just let somebody else catch it. Nicely done. That's pretty good. John Godwin, ladies and gentlemen, take a bow. Here all week. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Try the veal. <laughs> Thank you.
Is that a good one? Oh my gosh, let me get the net on that one. It's in that yeah, field right there. Where's it at? It's in that orange yeah, okay. that rug locker on the left. Got him by a hair string. Oh. We did it, Dad. We did it. <laughs> My gosh, look at that tank on that thing. Look at that. Wow. What's in his mind? We got the Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras tiny dancer. Oh my yeah. gosh. Scale. He ain't bigger than it. He might be. He, I think he's bigger. Well, let's see. The scales are right there to your left. Okay, hold on. Let me get this thing back in the water. What do you think goes through a, a crappie's mind? Well, he's crappie's mind. When he sees the bait, gets the hook set, and throws it in the water. Well, when he sees the bait, gets the hook set, then comes up here and visits us. Well, what, what do you think crappie's thinking from the moment he's just swimming around minding his own business? What do you think his thought process is? thinking there's something to eat, I gotta get it, and then, ooh, it's pulling me, <laughs> and then, wow, where am I at? Yeah. Oh, this is a good looking tree on it. And then he gets in there and Shameless like, plug. <laughs> and, then, and then he says, oh, Fred. <laughs> Hello, Fred. <laughs> where you been? I wondered where you at. Why, it's dark in here. Yeah. And what a great boat, man. How do you like your sea art? I love it. You man, love it? It's, uh, it's, uh, God, the best thing I like about it is uh, it's built like it's 125 gauge. It's built like a tank. The first words my wife said when she got in it, she said, I feel safe in this boat. I feel safe. Yeah. So that was pretty. I mean, it, it took me back a little bit. I was like, I didn't think about that, but. Got a 96 inch wide deck up there. Yeah. Three people can sit tight shoulder to shoulder up there fishing this perfect. It's awesome. It's a boat. It's an awesome boat. It goes fast enough, gets you where you need to go. And this Dead is waves don't make no difference. This is their collaboration with Bass Cat, right? Right, right, right. The, the BCTT. And look at the storage space. I mean, there's there's a place to put something in every stinking corner. Yeah. I just had to find stuff to put in there to fill off. <laughs> this thing's got storage everywhere. Perfect place. Yeah. It's just awesome. The live well. It's, uh, it's insulated. And we fit. I fished the tournament in September, which down here gets hot. And I put. Two bags, well, one bag. I put one bag of ice in there and filled it up that morning at the ramp. Every two hours, I would put, I froze me two Coke bottles, and look, yeah. well, water bottles now, water uh -huh. bottles. Every two hours, I'd put two of them. I put G juice in there. Yeah. Didn't change my water all day. And at three o'clock tournament time, I was having to chase them around in there to catch them. That's how lively they were. They were good and live, no problem. It was, it was surprising how how lively they were. But the key is keeping that water cool. Yeah. And the, and the neat thing about this boat is it is stylish and looks as if it's a fiberglass boat, yep. but it's metal. It fishes like a fiberglass boat. This is the ultimate boat right here. Well. Back up. Back up. Oh my god. 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 Oh Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Here's your sandwich bag, John. Hang on, I'm hung up. Did you take a bite out of it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
hungry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, John. Good one. Good one. Good, Good one. one. Yeah, giant. Giant? Well, that's not a giant giant. Oh, that's a big one. I'm gonna get the net for you again. I'm glad you brought me along the net. That's a good one. Got him going just right. Quit. Oh, am I doing that? No, the fish is. Perfect. He'll make the team. Yes, he will. Falling in, we're dropping something. I think you can't fall out of it, but. Boom, another big, big crappie. Nice. Man, John, I can't thank you enough, dude. This has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so oh, much, man. Well, I appreciate you coming along. Man, you're it's gonna... better than fishing by yourself. It absolutely is. I'm glad I could help you out with the netting and uh, <laughs> and fitting out those little ones for you because you put the hurt on big, big Louisiana crappie. So, man, thank Good you deal. so much. Subscribe to the channel. Also, check out John Godwin's own personal uh youtube channel it's yeah. just john godwin right yeah can't miss it he has all sorts of great educational videos and funny stuff i mean because you're kind of a cut you know what i mean sure. so, so i think we're gonna put this <laughs> show to bed and go eat some ham sandwiches right that's right <laughs> don't think i ain't got some <laughs> i thank you for watching Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.